Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a freshman college advice and tips. Stay tuned to the end because I will have guest speakers leaving special me special messages for y'all at the end. But I have a lot to talk about and a lot to cover to you know let you guys know. So we're gonna get right into the video because y'all, it's a lot that y'all need to know. Like I even got like my notes on my iPad and yeah, it's that much. Okay, so starting with the things that you need to know, there's really no specific order of everything that I have. It's just things that you know that came off the top of my head that you know that I know things that I have learned about being on campus or things that people never told me that I'm telling you guys. So this video is kind of like specifically directed toward future Tigers at Tennessee State University. But you know, anybody else that needs help, you know, this advice goes to you too because it could be anywhere, you know. But for number one, save your money. Y'all, I caught myself saving my money last summer and you know, I did go to school with a decent amount, but that money was going to come homecoming because you know, it's stuff that you're going to want to do. Like for one, me, I don't have a car. So everything that I needed, I needed to be like delivered to me. So, you know, that's like Uber Eats fees, um, Instacart, what else? Like either like groceries, pantries, something like you're always going to need to be ordering something if you do not have a car on campus. Once you get to seeing how other people dressing on campus, you're going to be on sheet and fashion over ordering some new stuff. So y'all, please save your money. At least have, I know people be saying have at least a thousand to five thousand dollars before going on the campus. Y'all, I did have like over a thousand, but ooh, excuse me. I feel like that wasn't enough. Plus like Uber ubers like you gonna want to go out into the um the city you're gonna need money i don't know exactly what amount but just know you're going to need some money going to college number two follow student body pages or people on campus that is very important if you want to know what's going around campus what's the moves what's some events going on or just to get um to know a new people follow the pages like i'm gonna put some of the pages that y'all need to follow like throughout this screen in the description everything like especially follow me because me I be all over the place plus i'm like i'm too involved on campus so anything that you want to know anything that you want to go to see you could probably find it on these pages like that's how i got to know most of the people that i know now or like just going to events just follow the pages y'all i promise <laughs> you're going to need to follow those pages next is learn dreams and nightmares or uh freestyle now y'all these are the hbcu anthems or like songs that you're just going to need to know because they play them everywhere you go me personally i don't know all the words i just know like the little lit parts like hold on wait a minute i was finished that, that's really all you need to know i'm not gonna sit here and i used to pray for times like this and i'm not gonna sit here and learn all that but yeah just know <laughs> future references though y'all gonna need to know them songs i'm out of breath look i'm talking fast but i'm getting through these i'm getting through these topics kind of fast even though I'm not halfway done at all, but we getting through it, y'all. So next is be prepared for your personal and character growth. Y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all. Like, I thought that I knew myself and knew who I was going into college, but college is going to humble y'all so bad. Like, college is for me. Don't get me wrong. Like, I do like the vibes. I like being on campus. School as a whole is not hard. It's just when college start college and when life start life and it just be too much it gets like a little overwhelming like just a little recap y'all ended up falling out like with one of my best friends you know going to school so i didn't know nobody now i'm not friends with my best friends and so i'm by myself i really felt like left out i felt alone and it's not really a good feeling to be feeling alone when you're like eight hours away from home so like nobody wanted to be feeling like that so i kind of like felt like i was in a hole y'all this is not a little vid session but i'm just trying to like give y'all a little insight to how i was feeling that is not a good feeling at all but i started um you know doing like self-care i started going out by myself like i tried to learn how to get used to be car y'all my phone had cut me off because it died but basically y'all I learned how to be comfortable by myself. I learned how to go out without friends and still have a good time. You know, it's just stuff like that that counts. Like, yeah, you're gonna lose friends. Friends come and go and all that other stuff. But it's like when they leave, then what? Then what? You gotta get comfortable being by yourself, baby girl. So yeah, life still goes on. Just keep pushing. Next topic. 
if you need a book that's not a part of your book bundle find a pdf y'all it's gonna work out perfectly fine like you might not know the exact pages that you're reading because like i think the pdf is different from the book because it's like uh y'all what am i trying to say the pdf is exactly the same as the book but you will not know the actual page numbers because page two on the pdf oh, y'all page two on a pdf could be like page 15 in the book y'all but it's all the same thing like i promise you you're not gonna don't, don't waste your money y'all because i had that from a history class like for some reason our books that we needed for history wasn't included in our book bundle and they thought that we was gonna be spending like an extra sixty dollars for three other books just to i didn't even read y'all so <laughs> yeah just just find a pdf y'all don't be stressing about not having those books if you can't uh, if you don't have enough money to pay for it just look it up on the internet i promise you it's there take advantage of getting to know your peers yes 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 take advantage of getting to know your peers and when i say take advantage y'all i don't mean like oh no grimy or like no lame stuff no like get to know people make friends put yourself out there because if you don't have a car on campus y'all but you make friends with somebody who does you don't even gotta ask half the time to go places because they're going to offer rides to you i guarantee you that's really a good thing of getting to know your peers or like you could find some people that's like really what am i trying to say really resourceful like i met a lot of people that knew lots of people and it kind of like made that type of connections like it's networking y'all and networking is important like even if you're not a business major like me make sure to network with your peers and take advantage of getting to know them like just put yourself out there get to know people they ain't got to be your bestie buddy friends or something but they could be like associates like if you know that this girl does hair that could be like your next little hairstylist y'all oh that's another thing i want to talk about y'all y'all don't know how much stuff that i got for free at school so that's what i'm saying like take advantage like don't be scared y'all it'll be people offering to do uh free services in a group chat and don't be scared like somebody did like my free ponytail for me like she wanted me to like be like a little model be like a little practice y'all me personally i don't do my hair so well i did this y'all that's not the point though <laughs> but usually in college, I did not do my hair at all. Like, I always went to people, and half the times I did not pay because they offered, you know, free services for, for um to be your models and stuff like that. And the hairstyles were not bad at all. I didn't have not one bad hairstyle. I didn't get no bald spots, no nothing. Take advantage of, like, these deals, people. I got my nails done for free. Take advantage of these people, guys. Take advantage of these deals. Put yourself out there. Meet these people. Communicate. Because all that will work out in the end next is use amazon walmart or target for dorm items i believe somebody had asked me on my story for like um dorm essentials i think i would do a separate video on that because y'all me i bought everything like <laughs> i've been looking on pinterest of like dorm inspirations and whatever i see that i like i want my room to look exactly like that and i found like some cheap versions of the stuff like y'all this is not an apartment this is not somewhere that you're going to stay for years to come you're going to be in there I don't know. It's okay to get cheap items, y'all. Um, party promoters charge an arm and leg and the parties be dry. Y'all, I kid you not. People think they finna go to college and be this big partier, you know, party every single day, party every weekend. Let me tell you, no, you're not. Because them tickets cost 20 to $40, like, depending on who party it is. Like, the best thing to buy tickets is, like, to buy it from the people themselves like the people that's throwing the parties like say the kids are throwing the parties and the kids are selling the tickets they sell them six for ten dollars that's the best deal that you're going to get and if a q offer you a free ticket don't do it because it's a setup he just wants to you know and 10 times out of 10 you're still not lying Ugh, you're still not going to get into the party now me personally i did not have that experience i know somebody who did so just believe me but yeah y'all them parties is not really worth it paying $20 plus just to go stand and listen to Finito and, and the dreams and nightmares and a freestyle. I can listen to that in my room, have like a little gathering with a few friends. I might get fined, but that would be more fun than the parties. Next topic. Please, y'all, please buy bug spray and buy your necessities. Like, you know, I feel like I bought everything. I had everything that I needed to have in my dorm, yet I I did not have bug spray. So when I had a friend come visit me, I was not prepared. Short little story time, y'all. This was probably the second night, I wanna say, the second or third night of me even staying in my dorm. I'm sitting there in a complete dark, like lights out and everything. I'm just watching like Netflix on my iPad. 
and I hear like the shades get to like rattling or something. So you know, I'm thinking like because the window open, maybe it's like the wind blowing the blinds to make it shake. No, <laughs> y'all, it was a roach in my blood. So when I tell you I ran to my RA door and it started knocking like real hard, y'all, I don't even think I had pants on. I didn't have enough time to put pants on. Like, that's how serious I got going. Like, no. So she laughing at me. And y'all, really, if you see this, this is how I'm in my RA, y'all. <laughs> she said she wasn't going to kill it either, but she could give me bug spray. So my other favorite RA had ended up bringing me the bug spray, y'all. So now I'm up in there. I didn't even try to kill it. Like, at this point, I don't even want to be up in the room. So I tested my little group me on my floor. I said, I got $20 for whoever come kill this roach. When I tell you them doors started opening, and you know, people, like, you know, once they seen how big it was, they didn't want to kill it either. So I upped it up to $50. When I tell you everybody was up in my room trying to kill that roach, I do not play no games. Get it gone now. In the story, though, nobody killed the roach. <laughs> like, we was just up in there making a mess. Well, they was. I wasn't up in there. I had to wait till my roommate came back, and then my roommate came and killed it. She she was kind of upset with me. Love you, Maddie. But uh, more on the story. Just just buy bug spray, guys, because y'all y'all don't want to have the same experience that I had. I I was terrified, and I was gonna be out of fifty dollars. At least I still got my money though. So yeah, next topic. You can find almost anything on campus. Like this kind of like relates back to what I was saying. Like when I said to uh, take advantage of your peers. When I tell y'all, it was like everything in the zoo. The zoo is Wilson, y'all. We had a freaking piercing shop, tattoo shop, hair salon, nail salon. It was always something. Mind you, we don't really got salons. I'm just saying like how people, people have all these different skills and all these different professions. So, you know, like in their room, they're doing all this different stuff. So, you know, if a girl doing nails, that's, that's what I'm calling the nail shop, doing hair, hair shop. People, y'all, I got my belly pierced in a room. I don't, I don't know if y'all remember that, but yeah, I got my belly pierced at school in the dorm. Now, getting a tattoo there is, it's a little too, that's too far for me. But I know people that done it you literally can do anything in a campus like you don't even got to go off campus or even out of your dorms to find somebody to do something that you need because the library is your best friend me personally i am a geek a little nerd nerd so you know i go to the library to study do my work and all that other stuff but the library could be used for so many more things like when i tell you like i done been to the library not even just to study like i'll go and watch a movie with some friends because like we um we have like the little screens in the study rooms so where you could plug your computer in and connect it to the screen. We supposed to be up in there studying y'all. We up in there watching Power. Like it turned into like a little movie night because you know like sometimes we wouldn't have visitation. So how else am I going to hang out with my friends? We just go watch a movie up in the library. Or say you got into it with your roommate. Me personally, I did not get into it with my roommate. It's just an example. You tired of seeing your roommate being up in your face and you ain't got nowhere to go? Go to the library. Like the library really is fun y'all you just gotta make it fun it's not just for nerds for geeks library is really your best friend and even if you think that you don't need to go to the library like for the books and studies and everything go to the library just just go next do your research on orcs that you want to join i think somebody else had asked me about this to like advice um when it comes to joining orcs so if you guys don't know i am in uh, i am currently in two orcs i am alpha lambda delta the honor society chapter at tennessee state university and i'm also in um student union board of governors i'm a sub g y'all so basically just really look into what you want to do like I know we have um table talks we have um what well, what is it called um org fairs like we have many things for you to sit and talk to the people that are in the orgs that you're interested in joining me personally I never really talk Ooh, excuse me y'all me personally I never really talk to anybody at these tables because I be scared but Y'all don't be scared. If you're scared to talk to somebody at the table, then that's when you find their social media accounts because they have an Instagram account for everything, y'all. Like either it's student government, it's um, the Lilas, that's love you like a sister. I don't know what you call them, like this Greek and then it's non-Greek. And then, you know, just student government. Like y'all just really explore your options. Just look into what you want to do. You can do anything that you put your mind to, y'all. So I'm not really in no big orgs like greek sororities all that stuff so i i cannot help if that's what y'all looking for i don't know but if you need help with student government y'all i'm your girl hit them dms next the calf is very repetitive 
Y'all can't stress this enough. This is probably why I went broke so many times. I'm going to get comfortable up in this chair while I'm talking to y'all. That's why I went broke most of these times in college. Because, like, all they had was, like, fries and pizza. Like, they going to advertise it. Like, oh, we got hibachi. We got um, a home cook station. We got the grill station. We got the dessert. We got all this other stuff. Yeah, they got it. But they ain't got nothing. Like, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, you have a pizza station. But it's just cheese pizza and pepperoni pizza every day. Where's the sausage? Where's the three meat? Well, where, where's their extravagant stuff at? Because now I'm going to go spend my money at Pizza Hut, y'all. Or they all have um, burgers and chicken sandwiches every day. <sighs> you can only eat a dry chicken sandwich and, you know, all that stuff for so long before you get tired of it. Now, the fries going to bang, though. The fries going to do it for you every time. But do you really want to be sur surviving off of french fries every day? No, you do not. Y'all, y'all gonna be using y'all DB a lot. And that's another thing. Be careful when you're spending your DB. Like, I know it's gonna get hard, y'all. Like, because if you don't have enough money or if you just don't want to be spending like $100 a week on like some Instacart or like Uber Eats, then you're gonna be using your DB. You you just gotta, you gotta split it. Like, you gotta make some type of, some type of, what am I trying to say? You gotta make some type of schedule, some type of routine. Use DB this day, go to the cab next two days, Uber Eat on the weekends. Oh, that's another thing, because the calf close early, too. Calf close at, like, what, 5 or 6 o'clock on the weekends? What am I going to do for dinner? What? <laughs> like, y'all, y'all, I could talk about this calf for a long time, but I'm I'm just going to get to the next topic. Y'all going to find out. Y'all going to learn. College is better than high school. I can't stress this enough. Like, you know, you graduate from high school, you think, oh, I'm going to miss it so much. I'm going to miss going to my favorite teacher class. I'm going to miss all this stuff. The work is easy. Y'all, college is a breeze for real if you really know what you're doing or, like, if you could, like, maintain your priorities. Like, you'll only have two to three classes a day, four days out the week, three-day weekends. And it's like, you don't have to turn in your homework by 11.59 the same day to get assigned, like, you know, some teachers – no, you got like a week or two or three to turn in homework. Like, man, college is really, I'm not going to say easy because it is hard and sometimes, but it, it's not as bad as your physics teacher or math teacher or reading teacher was telling you. Like, oh, the professors aren't going to go easy on you. They're going to be mean. You cannot be walking in late. They don't care. Like, you're paying for the classes. They're not going to beg you to come to the class. So, you know, if you just walk in late, ain't nobody going to kick you out. Because if anything, I'll be coming in late a little few times too. But, you know, I passed. Y'all got a 3.8 GPA. Don't ask me how because I don't know. But God is good. Amen. All the time. College is so much better than high school. Though. I really want y'all to have the same experience that I had at Tennessee State. Like, if you is missing out or feel like you need something to do, come find me on campus. Just text the Instagram, y'all. Hit them DMs. And I do be seeing y'all text me. Give me, like, a day or two to respond because it's like, if I don't follow you, like, you guys, like, you know, it's going to come in the request or something. And I don't, like, check them every day because I'm not that type of famous. Y'all be checking my stuff every day, looking at messages. But I do be seeing you guys text me, and I do get back to y'all as soon as I see y'all message. So just give me a second, y'all. Next topic. Y'all, I am almost done. Next is download fees. Fizz is like our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all that. Download Fizz if you're going to Tennessee State University. Just put your uh, TSU email and verify all that stuff. And you, you're you going to be good because Fizz, for one, avoid getting posted on Fizz. You get posted on Fizz, the whole campus is going to see it. Don't post your business on Fizz because you post your business on Fizz, the whole campus is going to see it see it now the thing is though it's good because it's like anonymous some people you know do put like some type of names that you know that they're known by but if you're gonna be doing some crazy stuff on fit stay anonymous unless you're like a real bold person that, but you, you fight and what throw a punch get kicked out by lunch they ain't got nothing to do with me but yeah if y'all just want to be involved on campus or just seeing stuff going on y'all them late hours be really funny <laughs> Better make sure your men don't get posted on there either. So, you know, just download fish, y'all. It, it really be busting for real. It's just lame right now because it's the summer. But when school start back up, that's that's what y'all going to be on for real. Next, night classes aren't always the best. I know people be like, you know, avoid 8 a.m., which is yes, okay. That's understandable. But you don't want to be taking a class at 530 in the afternoon. Once it start getting dark early, y'all, and you got to walk to that 530 and it's like dark on campus, 
you're not gonna want to do that so if it's dark while you walk in to class what do you think it's gonna look like when you come in from class and you gotta walk all the way across on the other side like me i stayed in wilson and i had like a night class i had public speaking i was walking from wilson all the, all the way to the other side of the campus on the other side of timbuktu just to go to public speaking y'all it was dark plus like some events do start at five four five thirty like you're gonna be missing events that you might want to go to because you got a class like me personally if you're going to take a class nine is the earliest that i'm going to recommend and then you know at least be done with your classes by 2 30 3 o'clock wrap it up anything else you're ready to go outside or you can spend the rest of the day just you know to yourself you go to the library do some work you can go to the cab get you some food go hang out with some friends take some time to chill out something you just don't want to be in class at 5 30 and oh them three hour long classes of 5 30 to 8 30 yeah no take that class in the morning y'all take it at 8 a.m if you have to 8 a.m's aren't that bad but taking 5 30 8 30 classes is gonna wear you out and absolutely not i am done talking but this is not the end of the video guys i have some special guests some um fellow tennessee state university members peers also has youtube channels that i want to introduce you guys to like me i do a lot of college vlogs but these people do great vlogs too like like i said use your resources network i met these people from just being on campus being on social media and just putting myself out there so if I can do it, I know y'all can. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, drop down in the comments any questions that y'all may have and let me know if y'all want a part two. Also, y'all use my social media. If you have any questions, anything that you want to talk about before going to school, y'all could text me on Instagram. I'm not giving my number to nobody unless, you know, we get like a real ooh, cool. You can reach out to people, ask them questions. They're going to leave you guys with a little bit of advice and some words of encouragement. And yeah, let's watch the video, guys. Hey, future college student, or better yet, future baby tiger, it's your girl, the Kennedy J. Marie TV here, and I'm just here to give you a few tips to make your freshman year go by a little smoother. So, I want to start off by saying... If you're going to college, make sure you're going for the right reasons. Like, a lot of people, I um, noticed that a lot of people from my class, before coming, like, yes, we're going to school for school, but it is going to be a networking opportunity in itself. That's just period. But if that's the only thing you're going for, it's other ways to do that. Like, don't waste your money going to school just to go network or just to go talk to people. Like, actually take advantage of the education you're getting most i'm not gonna say all but most of the professors really care about your success rate they really care to see you win but you just got to see it for yourself first so just don't go to college just to like make it a trans business transaction but go to college to actually get your money's worth um i also will say find you a good friend group find you a trustworthy friend group but don't don't bring too many in because you'll think that being in college you won't um you won't necessarily have drama you won't have the high school drama if anything it get worse in college it's just a bunch of adults like catty adults as soon as the drama touch base you just don't want that find you yo two three four I'll, I'll say maybe five max good friends and hold them tight simple as that because really those are the ones that you're gonna make your lifetime uh friendships with your lifetime memories with and, and it's not to say don't have associates throughout college but keep your close ones close and keep your associates on the associate le level keep it on a need to know basis i also say get familiar with all of the administrative off administrative offices on campus such as financial aid admissions records what I, what have you because if you get close with them that's gonna be your best friend because emailing them calling them nine times out of ten you're not gonna get through you have to show your face and you have to repeatedly show your face to make sure you get the necessary moves done when it comes to like scholarships or dropping the class or anything because they will mess you over if you don't stay on them so you have to stay on them make good connections with your professors that's my next thing make this is a huge one make really good connections with your professors professors um from both of my semesters at tennessee state i had a really good connection with my english professor my first semester um and she had got sick like 
towards the end of the semester or whatever and she um really liked my papers throughout the year or whatever i was very active in class um my last little paper i was kind of struggling with and she still passed me with an a with an a and i can guarantee you it's just because we had a good connection i promise you that and then my um biology professor from last semester she also passed me with the a as well now that teacher and it's crazy that teacher literally had all of our assignments at the beginning of the semester open for us to do for the whole semester. Me being a procrastinator, and that's a, a tip within the tip, don't procrastinate, it's not gonna get you anywhere. But me being a procrastinator, I waited to the very last minute to do everything and then I was stressing myself out. And I just emailed her and I told her what was going on. Um, But we had talked before, like we just, you know, just, don't force the connection like make it a natural connection but we had talked and everything so she knew about me she knew a bit about like the situation that was going on, on campus because we did have a couple campus tragedies and everything and she understood and gave me a week and a half extension and even still i missed like two or three assignments from the extension and she still passed me with the a so make those connections i think the last thing i want to say is the partying is fun but just don't get off track with it. And it it, it 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 gets burned out. Like, I can't even lie. Closer to the end of the year, it gets burnt, burned out. Like, you're going to want to do more so, like, campus activities rather than going off campus. Because, one, you don't just want to keep putting gas in your car. You don't feel like driving. You don't feel like being off campus. Like, just having the luxury of doing something on campus and returning to your room with, like, a two to five minute walk. That's going to do you justice. When you're out all the time it gets boring it's the same music it's the same people it's the same activities if you're not twerking and drinking it's nothing more to it so i say like really find you a hobby really find you an activity that you really enjoy doing during college because if you just come in the party yeah it looks all glorious and stuff on tv yeah we may talk hype about it but deep down inside we be tired of that that is just a few tips that i can give you today if you want more make sure you tune into my channel kennedy jamie tv where i will be discussing tips for just tennessee state students i won't be uh discussing like full college because i haven't had a full college experience but good luck Hey lovelies, I'm Olivia Lorraine and my advice, college advice is to bring all of your clothes. Do not listen to your parents, I mean listen to them, but don't listen to them. Bring all your clothes, you're going to need them, whether it's parties, class, wherever you're going, bring all your clothes. Coming from a fashion influencer and a person that loves fashion, and my first year like i had enough clothes but making outfits i didn't have enough clothes if that makes sense so the number one number one number one advice is to bring all your clothes and shoes as well because you never know what you can make with an outfit and then have the shoes with it second advice stay to yourself don't put your trust into these females and boys heavy on a boys not men don't put your trust in them don't be trying to link up with no boy put your academics first before you be trying to mess with some boy but i love you all i hope my advice helped bye all right hi my name is madison collins or should i say it in the tsu way greetings i am madison collins and this is my youtube channel <laughs> My YouTube is Madison Gabrielle. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put it in the description when I, uh, well, in the bottom of the video when I figure that out. But my friend Tyranny, hey girl, uh, she asked me to give some advice about college. So here I am giving you guys advice about college because I just completed my first year at TSU and I'm gonna be an upcoming sophomore. So, you know, you pick up a couple things being at school for a full year. So let's get to the video. All right, the first thing I would say is stay true to yourself and your morals and your beliefs and what you was what you grew up on. Do not take college as a reason to just act wild, act free, all of that. Still have some self-respect, still have some self-worth, right? Like, yes, you have freedom, but don't let that get to your head where you just, like, lose all focus and lose what you're really there for. You're, you're there to start a career you're there to branch out and you're there to get some type of independence number two i don't care what nobody say 
bring all your stuff bring every piece of clothing every every shoe you got everything everything you can fit in your car bring it everybody be saying like don't bring everything you don't need to bring your whole life but i legit brought my entire life and when i tell you everything that i brought i used all of it at some point and then they act like you're going to be once you're in college you don't go home you go back home so the stuff that you don't wear you can always bring it back home and bring stuff that you left at home you know you can always just exchange things out as you go because you go home for fall break christmas break thanksgiving break all of that the third thing stack your money before you go to school i'm talking about work 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 because when i tell you your freshman year of college i would say don't work but if you have to work work but that summer or throughout the school throughout the previous year work and stack your money because you're gonna need every dollar every penny every nickel every quarter you need when you go to school because you got parties you got buying groceries uh probably a new outfit just random events on campus like donations all that just make sure you have enough money to live off of for a decent amount of time if you're not going to be working fourth thing network find a group uh break out of your shell talk to people converse you never know who you will meet period i'm gonna say i have a problem with that because i'm not a person to approach people to talk to like i mean i'll have a conversation with you if you start a conversation but i'm not the person that's gonna go up and be like hey how you doing blah, blah, blah. that's not me and like some environments it forces you to talk which is a good thing for me and for anybody that's like me right so always just talk always have a conversation always like it seem like you enjoy talking to them don't be boring you know just i don't know just practice people skills i guess the fifth thing it ties back into what was that one the third one which is manage your money like yes you're bringing all this money to school you remember you're gonna need that money for that extended period of time while you're at school so manage your money don't spend all your money on parties and then you don't have no money to buy your your supplies for school or you don't have enough money to go get you some food and now you're eating out the calf and they only serving chicken nuggets and fries every day manage your money manage your money because you don't want to go broke fast because i got well i had a friend Maybe she blew a lot of money in a couple months and she was broke, okay? So, yeah, I'm gonna just, I think those are the main five points that I want everybody to know. But yeah, like, but remember, college is a great experience to have, what's it called? It's the best four years of your life, if you make it the best four years of your life. It's for you to branch out, find yourself, figure out what you like, what you don't like, you know? all of that so yeah that's my advice for you guys thank you tony for including me make sure you guys follow me on my socials i'll put that in the bottom of the video and thank you guys and i'll see you at school i guess whatever you do just stay true and show passion when you talk be precise i took a flight for